It's a stego. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Tony, KFC versus Subway growing up as your job. Go. KFC was a much more fun experience <laughs> than Subway. How so? Um, better group of people. Cornbread. Was it, was, uh, <laughs> was it Pizza Hut? Was it a uh, dine-in? K- or dine-in KFC. No drive through No drive through Does KFC Dine- have cornbread? They had, they used to. They don't anymore. Okay. You're old. Yeah, cornbread. Dude. Dude, I don't ever remember them. It got cornbread. wild in that KFC kitchen, man. <laughs> it Go. got wild. Colonel got down. At one point, we had a full-on water fight <laughs> with the dishwasher oh my God. sprayer. You know that thing? Like, yeah, yeah. And it had enough pressure to like launch the water all the way across the kitchen. <laughs> That's just landing in my biscuit. Oh, and piss, it, this, this was my favorite part. We had this little code for like hot girl at the register. <laughs> so there was this button on the register: six pot pies. Ooh. And it wasn't an item on the menu, so it just added zero dollars. So you could always like oh, add six pot pies. See this, this. And so a hot girl would come up, six pot pies. But sometimes, like a very like a grandma <laughs> or something would pop That's up. That's a bar, bro. And like your friend would come by and punch the six pot pies button, and like you see it, and then you're trying to like not die of laughter while you're like taking your order because you see <laughs> six pot pies. So hopefully some of the viewers who who were like, well, I didn't order a fucking six pot pie <laughs> six years ago, are now feeling good about themselves. Yeah. Damn, I was the KFC baddie back then. Right, right. I'm six pot pies. Six pot pies. Yeah. Man. I give her two pot pies out of six. Did you guys take like the chicken and stuff home at the end of the day when you guys? If there was Great any question. Yeah, you, you Great get, question. What, you could do one free box, like one little meal. A day. You the know, boxes chickens, are nice. Well, I would say potatoes. about KFC, we all love the box. Yeah, sure. The sure. box is pretty. You kind of fold up the, the the wings. Yeah. What was your take? Having worked at KFC, what was your take on KFC versus Popeyes? He's he's not. I don't think he's ever been to a Popeyes in his life. I've been. A, I have been to Popeyes once, but they were so far apart in time that <sighs> I don't know, man. I thought it was kind of the same deal, you know, hmm. just fried chicken. And Subway, how was Subway? So Smells. Subway, man. The worst fucking smell. Yeah, Dude, it's terrible. terrible. Like, here's what I remember about Subway. Like, my hands stinging from jalapeno juice. <laughs> like, just spending hours in the kitchen, like, scrubbing those, like, plastic bins. Ugh. And just getting that acid all over my hands. Those are oh, like, dude, these are our no, worst he, here's, here's what was terrible about Subway. The people that wanted everything on their sandwich... <laughs> And they, they didn't even warn you ahead of time. So you so don't say, know. Uh, okay, and, and some, uh, I'll have some olives and some cucumbers. <laughs> and, and the thing is, when they're saying it, you're, you're imagining it'll be like one of maybe yeah, three, four yeah. things. So you're putting a lot on yeah. it. I got and, a full circle, but keep going. I got a full circle for And then you. they keep saying more and more and more. And finally, there's just this mound <laughs> of topics. food. And, like, and then they want like the mayonnaise and shit, too, Ugh. on top of that. Yeah, but that's not good. And dude. now no. I have to fold... Like this is the the most yeah. self conscious moment when you have to like try to fold the <laughs> and bread they're looking over. at you they're staring at you <laughs> and it's just like falling apart on you. You just looked crazy. at them and been like, "This is your fat. This is fault." <laughs> <laughs> what was yours? Okay, full circle. Can I? Can I? Can yeah, I go this real quick. Yeah, this is my train of thought. Yeah, Chipotle. Okay, big fan of. <laughs> did you work? Did you work there? No, but no. I'm just you know. Yeah, full, full circle here. I love Chipotle, but I'm not big. I don't, I don't add a lot of ingredients. So when I say, when I go physically to the, one of the fine establishment that Chipotle is, I only have like five, four ingredients in my whole burrito. So, yeah. and they, but they've learned, they were trained to make room for yeah. additional ingredients. Fuck! This is such a great <laughs> meta point. This is so great. So... And this has nothing to do with my God. antisocial behavior or anything. This is why I order online because they see that I'm, oh I want. Oh my God! That's all brilliant. I want is equal parts rice. Fill Jeez. it up with those four. That's it. Yeah. That and, is and, a and quite great frankly, point. white rice or whatever probably doesn't cost them as much as as no, you know a no, protein or anything. No, no. All I want is equal equal parts rice, cheese, beans, and chicken, and maybe lettuce. That's, and that's it. That's a so great point. So if I go there and I I have to like. Tell them because they expect cause there's going to be more. People are gavons. People are fat fucks, so they order everything. So they always try to down the line. But if they added the toppings first, 
before all the protein and stuff, that would be m more effective. So the reason why I do uh, uh, use right. that implementation of online ordering is for that exact reason. Because by the end of the day, you're spending 11 whatever, $10 on a burrito that's, you know, as big as what you would get at Taco Bell or something. So they're right, leaving right. room for the salsa. Right. They think yeah. salsa's yeah, coming. Yeah, they no, think guac no, is yeah. coming. And then they so they're putting this much... Yeah. Is that that's it? Funny. I've had it. I've had the opposite experience. Every food. time it's I order, because I've gone like bowls, right. every time I order online, and I open the thing up, there's like hardly anything in there. But when I'm in store, they're like packing that thing up with all kinds of stuff. And I don't know if it's because I'm standing there and they're like, "Oh, he's watching me. I got to put more in there." But when I've ordered them online, it's like it barely covers the top. We of need the, to. We need to. Does anyone have a Chipotle friend? We need to interview a Chipotle oh. person. That'd be good. I don't have a Chipotle friend. Yeah. yeah. Make make yeah. one somebody, I and I understand the service industry. I, another one of my pet peeves is people who go to places like Chipotle, Qdoba, and they breathe over the glass and they act like, or they point. I want that. Yeah, one. I don't like that. They're not going to help you more. <laughs> but me being standoffish as I am and as considerate, I almost need to be aggressive and be like more <laughs> or whatever. So I just I avoid that whole situation disorder online. What was your worst job? <sighs> oh, I tell you, it was a rough one. Um, worst job. I think towards the end, the grocery thing really got really, really got yeah, yeah. That when I anytime I go to um Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, they seem so happy. <clears throat> Trader Joe's definitely. Yeah, I feel like everyone's I fucking. I feel like all the yeah. everyone's fucking in Trader I did, Joe's. I did and Whole Foods. I, I, did I feel pretty like, well. I did yeah. pretty well at Whole Foods. I swear to God, they're all fucking just happy. It's like all. Just I like, got my manager. I yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Made her it could have, been, could have been that bad. <laughs> no. I mean, you know, it's all... I mean, there's, like, the labor... A lot of times... A lot of times... Uh, mental fatigue is, is more than physical will ever be. So if you do work with the public, a lot of times it has nothing to do with how physically tired you are. You're just tired but of just the mental yeah. shit. Mental shit. Mental fatigue yeah. itself sometimes can be even more harmful yeah. than something physically. That's a fact. Best job? I don't want to say best job. Um, Low key fun. But one, one of the most... Satisfying? No, not satisfying. I didn't say that. <laughs> Lucrative? Acceptable? Uh. No, the, the most fucked up job <laughs> that I had was... Uh, valet parking next to La Bohine. That downtown. sounds awful. Because yeah. it was a complete hustle. And this, <coughs> these were. <coughs> All that time, running? No way. This was like when the last breath of taxi cabs. Hmm. And we would make deals with taxi cabs in the area that they will give us like a $15 kickback if we can send people to the airport to their services. So we were just making money hand over fist. And then we would do illegal shit. Like we would take tic valet tickets take them off of the key ring <laughs> and, and use the same number flip tickets basically because every ticket you the the company gets a gets a hit out of it you know so you would have to be savvy so through hailing taxis for people also there was a strip club right next door and for what it's worth when it comes to the service industry when it comes to tipping culture nobody and I mean no one understands it better than a stripper okay let me tell you something there was no parking next to that strip club it was attached to the hotel that we worked at 30 a 30 spot every time from Damn. From, from cinnamon Jeez. from violet from yeah. all of them they you got, you got to know all the strippers oh hell yeah and they were very handsome with their tipping Damn. but um yeah i think that that was awesome um yeah i've i've, I've done a lot I, I think it builds character but uh yeah, is there is there anything worse than going to a job and just being like, Ugh. no? Ugh. The only thing worse than going to a job is going to a job early in the morning, Ugh. like a six a.m. Yeah. All right, I think we're at about thirty. Anyone have anything random? You guys want to really? hear a story? I'd love a story. You want to hear a story about love how story. I how I had relations with a girl who looked like Margot Robbie, who worked at the front desk of the hotel. That I'd I love that story. Yes. Yeah. 